Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Simone Charisse, and today in this video, we are going to be dyeing this hair jet black. This hair is provided by Wiggins Hair. We're going to start off with one bottle of 20 Developer and two boxes of jet black dye from the company Ion. And I like to use these dyes because they are permanent and they make your hair look nice and sleek. So start off by pouring this entire bottle into the bowl. And then with your 20 Developer, you want to fill the entire little brown bottle up and then pour it into the bowl as well. And you want to mix this up until it becomes a darkish black color. If it's still kind of brown like this, it's not done. Keep mixing. Make sure you have gloves because your hands will be black and like painted black and have splotches everywhere. So this is really important that you have gloves. I have my aunt doing this for me because I had so many customer orders to get out this week and I just needed help like with dyeing hair and plucking it and all kinds of stuff. So my lovely aunt, which you've seen in one of my videos before, or plenty of my videos, she's just going to go ahead and dye. That's me right there. I'm going to the mailbox to drop off some packages. Um, yeah, so she's helping me out right now, and she is going to get the dye process started. So, yeah. When you're doing this, you, you can pour both of the bottles out at one time, or you can wait till you need to use the next set of products before you can go on, but we just did both at one time just so that it can sit there and kind of get dark on its own. This part is really important, so I didn't speed it up. When you are dyeing this, you want to do row by row, and you want to be as tedious as possible because you do not want to get any dye on the lace, okay? You only want to get it to the on the hair, but you want to get it as close as possible to the root, but not on the lace. That's like the biggest, biggest, biggest no-no ever. You want it to be only on the hair. So the closer it is to the root, the more it makes the lace stand out a little bit more and makes your scalp look a little bit more real. So I know everyone on Instagram was like in love with the way this frontal looked. I had to do like little to no baby hair on this wig because the frontal was just so perfect. Like I've had amazing frontals, but this frontal was like a whole different thing. Like all I did was literally part it down the middle, flat iron it then curl it which you'll see later on in the video and that was it and the frontal just was so flat on its own so um i had four bundles of this uh, i think it was a 26 26 24 i could be wrong so i'm gonna look back in the email and then see again but literally this entire process was like so easy i did keep the dye on the hair for about maybe four hours i kind of had to sit in there and i really forgot that it was on the hair <laughs> so um i think the instructions say to keep it on for about maybe 45 minutes or something 45 minutes to an hour but the key to getting your hair to look so shiny and sexy and sleek and black is really to use a permanent dye so i usually use a lot of ion products which you guys have seen in all my past videos i use like the ion shampoo the ion conditioner the ion color, color repair and i use all of their products because it makes the hair look so silky and like have like a little shine to it towards the end especially when you dye it black i used all of their products when i dyed the hair copper in one of my previous videos so i like to go in between between using ion and adore products but adore is a semi-permanent and ion is a hundred percent permanent so usually your hair will have a nice sleek shine and finish to it I posted pictures on the gram and you guys were just like, whoa, like, I love that hair. Like, it just looks so natural and pretty and shiny, but that's really the key. The key is to use a semi, -per I mean, use a completely permanent dye that has, you know, that's a really rich product that has great ingredients in it. And that will keep the hair looking nice no matter what kind of hair it is. So, Jet Black is your best friend. If you're not really into color, definitely do Jet Black and your hair will just look so beautiful and rich.
So next we're going to go ahead and use our vanity, well my vanity planet curling iron. And this curling iron gets really, 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 really hot. It comes with the glove, which is amazing, but I didn't use it. I'm so immune to not using gloves when it comes to curl iron, hot combs, flat ironing. I mean, what's a little burn, right? <laughs> so, I mean, but use your glove. Use your glove if you have a glove, but I know how to do it without having the glove, so I don't use the glove. I kind of curled my hair within 15 minutes. I did large sections, and then I just went ahead and finger combed it, and that was my end result. But I did not use the hot comb on this wig. I actually just flat ironed row by row. That's what I meant when I said it in the beginning of the video that the frontal was very flat because all I did literally was just flat iron this. I didn't do any, oh, and a little bit of blow drying, and that was it. But I, I didn't use a hot comb on this, and it just looked really natural, the laid flat, it was really cute. Um, and guys, there's no baby hair on this. So for everyone that's always saying, no, no baby hair, there's no baby hair on this. But the hair itself was super silky, fluffy. It just has a pretty feel to it. So I'm really curious to see how this hair holds up, but I really love the way this hair um, came out towards the end. And the black just added the finishing touches towards the end. So I really absolutely loved it. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video and have a Merry Christmas because I'm probably going to upload this now. <laughs>